What's going on everybody? In this video, we are gonna be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts from Trips Tight End. Trips Tight End is the best offense in Madden 21. In my personal opinion, it's been the best offense for the majority of the season. And the New England Patriots is actually the best playbook in Madden 21. And so if you wanna get my entire uh, New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. But we're talking about Trips Tight End. We're talking about how to beat some of the popular defenses that you're gonna be seeing, specifically how you can beat and really work against Mabel cover and things like that. This is one of my um, really slept on play out of the New England book, but it's really, really, really good. So we're gonna talk about it in this video. It's this play that's called Pat's Y Post. We're gonna give you several different ways to run this, or we're gonna go over one of, we're gonna go over my favorite way to run this in this video. There's multiple ways that you could run this concept, but I love this this uh, the video that we're or the the, the combination we're going to share with you today. Now, if you want to get my two hour trips tied in offensive meta update, I would encourage you to get that. Um, all you got to do to sign up for that is to sign up to, for the True Fan membership. That's in the description. It's just five bucks a month, and what it does is it gets you three new videos every single week. You get an offensive meta update, a defensive meta update, and a pro player uh, complete film study analysis. And so it's a really, really good opportunity. Um, we break, we don't just break down trips tight end. We break down the meta. So it could be a bunch tight end tip. It could be a bunch tip. It could be a, a spread. It could be a five wide. It could be big nickel. It could be double A gap. It, it, whatever, whatever the best thing that is happening right now on the offensive or defensive side of the ball is what we break down. So you get 12 videos a month, three videos every single week great opportunity for you to get better at the game and if you want to sign up for that um it's just five bucks and get it in the description so pat's why post is the play that we are going over um in this video and this play is a lot of fun to run because it's a lot of people don't really understand um how this works it's really really good against mabel coverage so most of the time what, what this guy right here is going to do is he's going to use her and um, obviously he's going to use her but um, where he uses is kind of up to him. And so we're gonna create a natural little high-low. This is really good, uh, like I said, against Mabel coverage in particularly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smart route circle, and then we're gonna take triangle, we're gonna put him on a hitch, and we're just gonna motion triangle to the right and snap him right on the numbers right there. Okay, now if you watch this route to circle, you're gonna notice that the, uh, the outside third is gonna do a good job of playing it. So just be aware of that. But here's what I want you to know. A lot of people, um, especially when they're defending trips tight end or gun bunch, they are going to deep half their outside corners. If they deep half these outside corners, you're going to have a little bit more of a window. So I just want to show that route really quickly against a deep path. This is with uh, flats on 25, curl flats on, on uh, whatever they are on. And you see that the deep path, it, it, he kind of angles more to the inside. And so you've got a lot of room to be able to work that concept. The next thing that I want to show you on this play, though, is really the main reason why we like to run this play. And that's to essentially create this natural little high low that's gonna happen with the tight end. It's a really, really good little simple read. Um, and so anyway, we're just gonna take circle smart route in. We got a uh, triangle on a hitch. You can put him on a curl too if you want. Um, but what you're gonna see is this tight end post is so open against Mabel coverage. So, so, so open. And so what's gonna have to, what, what's gonna literally have to happen is your opponent is going to have to use this tight end like to stop the tight end he has to stick up that that route has to be user um, it's one of the really big benefits of the route and then now what this is going to do is it's going to open up all of these underneath passing lanes you've got your hitch right here um, you see they're going to have to put a yellow zone on that side of the field very very unlikely to do that but if they do that let me just show you what that's going to do um, so let's say they put a yellow on that side of the field and they use or the tight end right and they're still in their mabel coverage because they have to be because you have to respect the flats and everything else from other concepts that we've been running out of trips tight end i mean everybody knows that you have to do that and so um as a result what's going to happen is now oh look to the right oh he's got that yellow over there and now this dig on the left is coming wide open for an easy five to ten yards so this is just a really really good little yard gainer against zone it's one of my favorite zone concepts um, in the entire game the cool part about this is against man coverage it's actually really common for them to do something like this right here maybe you have like a purple zone over there but basically this is like their you know kind of general go go to man coverage so um, let's just cover this really quickly uh, i want to i want you to really watch what happens here on the right side of the screen 
if you just watch this tight end, you're going to see he's got this inside position. And oftentimes he's going to be able to catch that if that if that tight end has better route running. Robert Tunyon doesn't have the route running, unfortunately, to be able to consistently just torch, um, to just be able to torch it. But in Mutt, you're going to be fine. You're going to have a tight end with good route running. You're going to be able to do this. Um, the other, but I, Tunyon will sometimes get separation as well. But the other thing I want to show you is this running back route. It's a really glitchy route, especially against man coverage. Um, it's not a table route. I want to be straight up and tell you it is not a table route. What it is, is it is a out, almost like a running back out route. Like literally, it's one of the most unique routes in the entire game. I just want you to watch how this works. This is against like traditional cover two man. Um, so you'll just see, see how it just takes this nice cut and gets to the outside. It's really good, especially if they man up like a, a, a defensive lineman to the running back. Another thing that you'll see a lot of people do is they might do something like this because you have to anticipate that they're going to use her, this guy right here. So you just, I mean, that's just kind of the way that you start out, especially when you're talking about trips tight end. It's one of the real cool things that it does um, if your opponent wants to run main coverage. But what you'll see here, again, he's just not over there. There's just no window. If they, if they don't have... Honestly, there's just no way to stop the running back out of this. There really isn't, um, especially from nickel 335 wide. The best chance they've got is leave that middle linebacker manned up. But if they man up a defensive lineman or if they man up, um, you know, e even that safety, look how it just cuts the outside just like that. Really simple. And it's a it's a very simple little read. Now, uh, let's talk. continue talking a little bit about man coverage. On the left side, you're going to have... Um, a beat press opportunity for Devonte Adams if he if he does like if he gets the press animation where he doesn't you know obviously win the press you have to be aware of that um, you see right here like right there defense played pretty good as far as like being able to talk you know kind of take care of everything but Devonte Adams is something that typically will beat man to man um, it just didn't do it right there okay the uh, that's where I'd say if you if you're if you are expecting man I would recommend a curl route on triangle. Um, I would not do a hitch if you're expecting man to man. Um, so got the curl against man, easy read. We've been throwing that all year long. It's really, really hard to stop that uh, against man. You just have to understand that if they're usering over here, right, which they might do, um, then this is where I really love this play because what's gonna happen is that we have essentially created a very nice little high low read on this backside, this dig route is really consistent against man to man. It's more consistent in mutt than it is in regs, but it's still, at the end of the day, very, very consistent. You're going to have a lot of success with this concept because they just can't cover the whole field. And that's what I like. If you want to take, um, the other thing real quick here is if you want to take circle and leave him, if you don't want to smart route him, you can do that as well. If you want to try to use maybe the deeper route, sometimes that helps. It does help a lot with spacing. Um, it really does help create spacing out of this play, but um, you know, the, typically the smart rider one is better, especially if they're shading coverage. Um, they're really trying to get underneath everything. Then this is a, a really, really good little concept right here. The extra to the tight end, um, if you throw it right there, you see it, it. There are there is a window to throw it against man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, I I, I don't want to say that there's not. The biggest thing I want you to realize is it's not something that you can just automatically trust. Um, you have to actually look at the route. The curl is like, you don't even have to look. You can throw it with your eyes closed. But this X route, when he cuts inside, it's a low ball inside pass lead. You see right there, that's really what we're looking for. Now, another type of defense that people are going to run, just really quickly here, um, is this idea of essentially a shaded coverage outside, um, shaded coverage outside, shaded coverage over top. Okay, so if they try to do something like that, this play normally does really well against this coverage. So um, your curl is gonna get open. The other thing that's gonna get open against this is your tight end route. If they shade over top, this that route becomes so much better. Um, that that um, that tight end route becomes so much better. Pretty much every route on this play is going to become significantly better if they shade coverage over top. 
Um, the running back route is still going to be very successful against man-to-man -man coverage just because of alignment. You've got this nice little dig route on the backside in combination with that corner route. This play is a lot to guard and one of the best plays in trips tight end. But if you want to learn my trips tight end offense, I'd encourage you to sign up for our true fan membership. We've got all the plays in there that you need to be successful. We do a deep dive into the trips tight end offense in that platform. So be sure to sign up for that. It's just five bucks. There's going to be a link down in the description for you to be able to do that. And we got defensive stuff, we've got offensive stuff, and we've got pro player analysis. Uh, we've broken down Drini. We're going to be breaking down one of my favorite players of all time right now in Madden 21 is Henry. And we're going to be talking a little bit about him in the weeks to come. So thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed the video. And that is how you run Pat's Y post.